Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video I'll show you how to use the field condition options. So this video is part two. In the first uh, video I've showed you the um, system conditions and in this video I'll show you the field conditions, what we can do with the uh, field conditions itself. So let's see what we have here. So I, I have a simple rule here that says that the account name, which is the current field, is not empty. And I'll click to configure the results. So we covered all this in the first video. Now we're going to see the individual fields, what we can do. So let's start with show and hide. So if I select show and I have support opposite, so if this, if my current field account name is not empty, then show. And if I'm supporting the opposite, that means that it will hide. So once I load the form, the account name is empty, then it's not shown. And if I'll fill it up, then there it is. So that's our first condition. Let's see our next option. So show and hide we, we have uh, discovered. Disable enable. It works the same way because we're supporting opposite. So once we load the form, it's disabled. If I'll put something in here, then it will enable it. That's really cool. And let's see other things we can do. So read write and read only. It looks the same like the the enable disable, but it's a little bit different. So we can see that that's in read only mode. And if I'll put something in here, then we'll be able to write. So that's great. So the read is just to turn the field to read only. So once you select this, that it will turn it into a read only. And mandatory, that's really a great option. So once we load the form, then the account number is not mandatory. But if I'll put something in here, then the account number will be mandatory. And again, this works automatically since we have uh, we did support opposite. If I'll take that off and save, then it's not going to really work. So if I'll take that off, then it will stay mandatory because the rule didn't run again. So once you support opposite, then it checks the rule against the opposite of the condition you've created. So we'll put that back on and let's see what else. So mandatory, non-mandatory, we covered. Set value. So set value, we can do something static, which is really nice. And we will do this. And we can see that we have something static or what we can do is set from another field. So for example, let's do set value from, and I'll select the uh, account. Let's add a field here. Let's do a text. And we'll call this, put it over here. We'll call this text to copy and obviously it could be dynamic or make more sense but in this instance just for the demonstration purposes so we'll head back to the element um, configure the condition and we'll do set value from and we'll say text to copy and we'll apply and this doesn't have the set value from the support opposite is meaningless so we will save this and we're going to put some text. Let's do number one, two, three, and put an account name. And once I leave this, the the focus, then I get my uh, I get my uh, text copied here. Let's see what else we have. Our last option is set CSS, and we can do. Uh, a label and an element and so what I will fill in here is a test a test one and a, and a test and I'll show you where I'm grabbing this from in just a second so I'll apply everything and I'll refresh my form and we'll set my CSS so my CSS uh, I'll show you where I set it up so this one has, the test one is for the label, it has a background of green, 
and this one for the element it's a background of black and you can set uh, um, anything you like with the CSS so let me show you what where do I set it up so you go to the form style and to the CSS and you just set up your classes so I have a test class that says background color black and you can set font size and whatever you want with CSS and test one that says the background color green that just sets the background color to green and once we head to our um, let's head back to our condition and you do the set uh, you do the set CSS and you choose your class names from what we've set in the style CSS classes and this is how it's done